now that the dip's back together, I want to focus on fixing oil leaks. Um, most of them are coming from the oil pan, but there are a few coming from the cam seal, I think, and the power steering pump, where that bolts, where that bolts the engine, there's a leak there as well. So I'll try and fix up all of those while, while there's a bit more access and while the car's on the hoist. Looks like there's an oil leak back here as well. I had a suspicion about that, so I've got a new cam sealer with me and a new valve cover gasket. So I'll be pre replacing those as well. Hopefully, clear up all these oil leaks. First thing we want to do is make sure the engine's at top dead center, and then we'll pull off the timing belt, the hydraulic tensioner, and the pulley. And then we we'll be able to pull the cam gear off get this cover off, maybe, we might not even have to take it off, and then we can get to the, the seal behind this gear, which needs replacing. All right, there's only two timing marks. There's one on this gear and one on the gear down there. You wanna get that mark there, there's an indentation on this tooth, and no others. So you get that lined up with this marker back here. Once those are lined up, there's two markers down here that should line up as well. So that, let me see if I can get down in there. Okay, that's it there. So there's an indentation on that little gear and it lines up with that arrow. That means the engine is at top dead center of either the combustion stroke or the exhaust stroke. Um, so now that we've got that in the right position, we can take it all apart and then put it back the same way. Alright, you need a 10mm allen key to get this pulley off. Now if it's too short, we can put a pole on the end of it and get some more leverage. There we are. Wouldn't be a car day if you don't skinny knuckles. Alright, that's the pulley taken care of. Now we can pull the timing belt off. Now we can pull this gear off. We'll also have to pull this hydraulic tensioner off so that we can compress it and put everything back together again. Now if we try and undo this nut, what will end up happening is we'll spin the cam that's underneath this cover. So we have to take this cover off and then lock the cam in position. And then that way we can turn the nut and then this, this gear won't move. So then our timing will stay correct. Now that we've um, taken the cover off, we can see the cam. This is what controls all your valves, and if this if this isn't in the right position with respect to the gear down here, you'll pretty much break your engine and need a new one. So we've got to make sure that this doesn't move while the belt isn't locking it to the other gear, and that means to get this gear off, to get this nut out. We've got to hold the camshaft still, and we can see we can just put a, um, a shifter over the cam, hold it together, and then under this bolt, pull the gear off. All right, there's a keyway in this gear here, so it'll lock it to the cam. So there's, there's no other way to put this gear on other than the right way so long as these are all lined up all right I've knocked the cam gear loose so that comes off and there's a little 
wood rough key. You don't want to lose that. That's what locks it all together. Then we can pull this casing off and then that'll make it really easy to change the seal over. Alright, it looks like the cam seal was leaking, but we've got to change the RTV here anyway, and it, that could also could have been leaking, but either way we'll change it both and it should fix it up. Cleaned up around here and on the back of the casing, we've got our new seal in, so we're just going to put some RTV on and put it back together. Okay, so you can see the RTV spilt out the back here, but it's good to keep that wet and put the valve cover back on while it's still wet, because that'll help seal this edge. But you've got to tighten this up first, and then put your cam gear on and tighten that up too, because once you put your rocker cover on, you won't have access to this anymore. So you've got to tighten up your gears first, and put the cover back on and do it before this stuff sets. Oh. 
All right, you don't want to over tighten these bolts because you can actually crack the valve cover. And you have to do them hand tight. I learnt that the hard way. If you're lucky, your timing belt will have these marks on it too. And that should line up with this. And there'd be another mark which will line up with the gear down below. Okay, so we can see all that's lined up. And those marks there, which is good to go. Just gonna put that tensioner back in. That'll help tension this belt. We'll get to that now. All right, here's our tensioner. We gotta squash this top part down so those two holes line up, and then we'll put a a nail or a pin or something through to lock it lock it in the down position then once we install it we can just pull that pin out and this will this will come out on its own and keep tension on that on that pulley all right there we go see the nail there is doing its job we'll install this and then pull the nail back out Alright, this is this is always the best part of pulling the nail out. Alright, I've pulled the sump off and given it a good clean, got rid of all the old RCV around here, so I can just put some more on and stick it back on.